was a somber night in East Boston as the Yes on 3 campaign in favor of repealing the 2011 Expanded Gaming Act for Massachusetts casinos met their match. We're not done. What we've done here is we're citizens, right? We have a government of, by, and for the people. Committee Chairman John Ribeiro is looking at the way casinos have worked in other states and says the future looks grim. Every place else where casinos have been implemented, um, they, they haven't helped a single state or community. In fact, they've driven a lot of communities into the ground. However, he still feels lucky Yes on 3 got the support and attention it deserved. We never were expected to make it this far. You know, the Attorney General put many obstacles in our way. For the first time in Massachusetts history, uh, having a question that was denied certification by the Attorney General, the people still went out and collected the necessary signatures, uh, nearly 130,000 signatures we had to collect. For campaign manager Derek Barsikowski, the government wasn't the only obstacle. We were uh, outspent. Um, the other side put in over $10 million into this, uh, into this race. And um, it, at a certain point, became very difficult to compete because we couldn't get our message up on the air. I think this is uh, an ongoing movement, an ongoing debate, an ongoing issue. Um, the casinos have not been built yet in Massachusetts, and the introduction of casinos has already revealed so many problems and flaws with the law. Looking to the future, Yes on 3 spokesman Stephen Isell says his campaign will keep pushing forward. The turnout has been really high in Charlestown and Somerville, two of the areas where uh, they're going to be very close proximity to the Everett site. I think we're still going to be one of the biggest watchdogs um, of this process going forward. Now it's a somber scene at the Yes on 3 casino headquarters when they found out that they had lost to the no side of the ballot question, but they don't think that they've totally lost the fight. They said they're going to continue rallying support, rallying money, and they're going to fight till the end. For BUTV 10, I'm Christina Ernie.